Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day, TGIF. Thank God, say a Friday we day. And as it stands, so this one happens to be the last Friday of the month of uh, December, and also the last Friday uh, in this week. I think next week again we are going to uh, experience another Friday before everything is going to be no more. Or maybe this is the last Friday. Oh, sorry, sorry to say this is the last Friday in this year. Oh, hey, because uh, Monday we are going into what they call New Year, which is uh, the first day in the month of uh, January in the year of 2024. So Friday, um, I mean, sorry, the last Friday of the month of um, December and the last Friday in the year of uh, 2023, we say goodbye. Eh? You have done well. And may other Fridays that will come in our front to bring to us uh, good tidings, joy, upliftment, and uh, other etc. Cetera, et cetera, and that is they call it etc. etc. Et 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 well, uh, the issue that brought me here before then we proceed, let me give you the tip of the iceberg. United Nations expresses shock over Plateau State Massacre as uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu to identify and punish perpetrators. Because the rate in which uh, Christians are being killed in Nigeria is is a call for concern. Um, uh, you know, people keep on spe uh, speculating that uh, they have a uh, Islamization agenda, but they will come out and tell you that uh, why would Tinubu do that? Uh, after all, his wife is not even able to Islamize his wife. He was a uh, uh, is a Muslim and the wife uh, a Christian. In fact, a pastor for that matter in the Redeemed Church. Um, my dear people. <laughs> You know, say some people, uh, some things are better not to say because um, if you went into some homes or into some marriages, you find out that the woman is the one that is marrying the husband. Uh, you know, because uh, the so called uh, Tunumbu, I am very, very sure, 100% sure that that man uh, do not, cannot have any single say in his home. He can become Jagaban for Lagos State, Jagaban for Nigeria, but not in his home. Olulemi Tunumbu, I, Tia Rich Bag. So. Yes, I want to record the talk. Say no, 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 no. Remember that uh, Tunumbu is just a ceremonial president. Yes, he's just there as a caretaker. People who is ruling uh, the Nigeria is the Kabas and also uh, what do they call them the the Fulani oligarchies. Oligarchies, how do they call them that uh, found themselves in the cabinet of the Sultan of Sokoto? That is where they are making every decision on how to uh, manipulate everything that is happening in Nigeria. So, the Islamization agenda, my dear, it is real, and they are carrying, are carrying it out because the rate in which Christians are being, are being killed. If you people can remember in this uh, Mango and Bokos local government area, around June or July, over 150 people were massacred like this. Nobody says anything. Till today, no one has been arrested in connection to that uh, incident. And people keep on saying, every time, oh, we will investigate, we will investigate, my dear. If the youth cannot arise and take this country, hey, my dear, hey, that is how they keep on killing the youth every now and then because it doesn't matter to them. That thing happened. It happened on the eve of uh, December, but on the 25th of December, you see all the whole governors gathered uh, in uh, Ikoyi, in the house of uh, Bola Mer Tunumbu, and they were jello, 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 jello partying and also uh, wine partying and also other whiskeys and other things. Even most of them, they smoke Igbo. <laughs> Does that is supposed to happen? Eh? Look at what is happening. In Jerusalem, they called off December, said there's no early December this year because of the uh, confusions. Is that reason not enough for the president to say anything that has to do with celebration should be cut off for now? Let us know how we can handle the issues that is prevailing. The people of uh, Plateau State, which have been there for a very long time. No. They are busy gallivanting, jumping up and down, celebrating, drinking whiskey, smoking Igbo. And the shisha, eh? womanizing and other other forms of uh, all in the name of uh, we are going there to represent our constituencies. May, may the thunder, thunder, we will fire all the whole, both the president and the, all the whole senators, ministers, and the local government chairmen, including governors and the House of Reps members. I swear to God that uh, thunder is still they do press up in Hamas, and very soon it will hit them because these people that, that have no any single respect for human life. They have reduced Nigerian lives to nothing that even when millions of people are slaughtered, you will find them still jumping from one place to the other, looking for where to 
uh, looking for uh, money to siphon. Anyway, my people, the issue why I bring this news to all of us now, because I don't say uh, Nigeria now they on a very tight corner because United Nations have called for this. They said, they said uh, if Kai is not taken, that Nigeria is going to be omitted from the list of the United Nations. In fact, they are going to sack Nigeria from the United Nations. Let me see where they are going to be going to Boro 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 Boro. Yes, not only United Nations, Hungary have come out and said if the Nigerian government does not do anything about the killings of Christians, that they are going to cut ties with the government. And you know what that means? Yes. How many companies have left Nigeria? How many countries have left Nigeria since the inception of this so-called president of the Fulani Control Government of Nigeria? That is, it is uncountable. Do you know how many billions of dollars that have left Nigeria economy? That is why you see the inflation rates almost heading to 30. And I'm very, very sure in the first quarter of 2024, we are going to day at 30% plus inflation rate. Hi! That ever, ever witnessed in the history of Nigeria. And you are telling me we have a government. Thank God that all these things is happening. At least, the collapse of Nigeria is still making paving way for the rebirth of the Biafran state. And that Biafran nation must surely come to pass. No any devil that is going to stop it. If you like, we'll make it become Babalawo. Say, ah, Biafra no go come up, my dear. Forget about that one. Your, your own local instinct. But as long as, as, as far as Biafra is concerned, my dear, it is a done deal. Signed and sealed. Let them continue destroying the, their so-called Nigeria. Uh -huh. At least, as it happened now, Mazen Namdekani, whatever he is now, be very, very happy that look at what's happening. Because these are the things he made mention years back. Uh, say, my people, they're going to see what's going to happen. Make on a join me, say, uh -huh. We will do all these things, but um, here, for where they think uh, Martin Dam Decano is only uh, lamenting uh, that uh, when the time comes that the Son of Man will be liberated, and that is the day we are, we are into. Anyway, my wonderful people, uh, greetings to you once again. Please, uh, when you get this message, like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. The headline is The United Nations have put our so called president of the Fulani Control Government of Nigeria in a very heavy panic because. Very soon, they are, they are not going to say anywhere to borrow again because United Nations will sanction Tunumbu and Nigeria. If they don't do anything about the killings of Christians in the so-called, in the contraption called Nigeria, because that is a contraption, it is never a country. It's just a, a geography, a geographical error that the so-called British uh, government make. Anyway, talk said in a statement that I am deeply alarmed by the series of attacks by government on multiple rural communities in plateau state. This is not once and not twice that has been happening. The United Nations so, Human Rights Chief Voka Tuku on Thursday said he was deeply alarmed by the multiple attacks and killings. Over 187 or if not 190 persons about several communities in Bokos and back in Ladi local government areas of plateau state. Toku said in a statement that I am deeply alarmed by the series of attacks according to him in the Plateau, say, in the Plateau State communities. Uh, over 17 or 20 something houses have been burned down. I call on the Nigerian authorities to investigate this uh, incident promptly, thoroughly, and independently, consistent with the international human rights law, and to hold those responsible to account in fair trials. And if they do not do this, my dear, be rest assured that uh, in our next sitting, Nigerian government will be omitted from the list of the participants in the United Nations uh, um, um, uh, General Assembly. According to Kute Deli Talk, I reported how armed terrorists attacked about 17 communities. Oh, 17 communities in Chich, Imo, in Bokoso, and Bakinladi, local government area of Plateau State, on Christmas Eve and killed over 187 persons, injured scores, burned down dozens of houses, and even uh, even uh, kidnapped many. Whereas, Bola May Tunumbu has condemned the attacks and ordered investigation into the incident, no arrest is said to have been made since the attacks took place on Saturday. How can you arrest anybody? Eh? Even thereby say, now the power that be send them to do that. And according to the, 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 the intel, the perpetrators of these heinous, heinous crimes wear military uniforms. Who knows if they are not military people uh, in disguise? And uh, they will tell you, oh, it's a uh, uh, gunman. But they are in military uniforms to show you that maybe that is an official duty from their paymasters. Anyway, the U.S., France, and Nigerians in general have called for immediate thorough independent investigation into the attacks to ensure that the perpetrators are arrested and made to face the full rot of the law. 
The one that they are arrested today, tomorrow they will free them. That is what we keep seeing every now and then. Anyway, my good people, I would not like to make this uh, video a long one or just a very short, so that uh, every OKK okay and careful okay listen, understand, digest, and also drop their own uh, uh, contribution at the comment section because each video you watch, you must have left one thing or the other, or you must have something, one thing or the other to tell the masses so that people who are also watching will know what to comment. Well, my people, now here, me, I go take back break you, and I go hear my voice again because this one is just early uh, Friday morning broadcast where I say make a bring for now. They're gonna know say the so called uh, Fulani control government of Nigeria and their, their leaders will soon find their balls being stuck uh, uh, in between their legs because the United Nations is about to take actions. Because Nigeria has been a country that violates human rights left, right, and center. Anyway, they're gonna just digest this one. I'm coming back again with another big blaster. Have a nice day, my people. Kemisiano, greetings to you all.